John Vavasor de Quintin Jones was very fond of throwing stones at horses, people, passing trains, but specially at window panes. Like many of the upper class, he liked the sound of broken glass. It bucked him up and made him gay. It was his favourite form of play, but the amusement cost him dear, my children, as you now shall hear. John Vavasor de Quintin had an uncle who adored the lad and often chuckled, Wait until you see what's left you in my will. Nor were these words without import, because this uncle did a sort of something in the city which had made him fabulously rich, although his brother, John's papa, was poor, as many fathers are. He had a lot of stocks and shares, and half a street in Buenos Aires, a bank in Rio, and a line of steamers to the Argentine, and options more than I can tell, and bits of Canada as well. He even had a mortgage on the house inhabited by John. His will, the cause of all the fuss, was carefully indicted thus. This is the last and a solemn will of Uncle William, known as Bill. I do bequeath, devise, and give, by execution mandative, the whole amount of what I've got. It comes to a tremendous lot in season to devolve upon my well-beloved nephew, John. Such was the legal instrument expressing Uncle Bill's intent. As time went on, declining health transmogrified this man of wealth, and it was evidently clear that Uncle Bill's demise was near. At length his sole idea of fun was sitting, snoozing in the sun. So once, when he would take the air, they wheeled him in his patent chair. By they, I mean his nurse, who came from Dorchester upon the tame. Miss Charming was the nurse's name. To where, beside a little wood, a long-abandoned greenhouse stood. And there he sank into a doze of senile and inept repose. But not for long this drowsy ease. A stone came whizzing through the trees and caught him sharply in the eye. He woke with an appalling cry and shrieked in agonising tones. Good Lord, whoever's throwing stones? Miss Charming, who was standing near, said, That was Master John, I fear. Go. Get my ink-pot and my quill, my blotter and my famous will. Miss Charming flew as though on wings to fetch these necessary things, and Uncle William ran his pen through well-beloved John, and then proceeded in the place of same to substitute Miss Charming's name, who now resides at Portman Square, and is accepted everywhere.